Today, we're going to tell you about the world's first oil well. Now, this is the definitive version. Well, that is until somebody points out that there's one older. But still, for now, enjoy. Now, you may have seen this video we bought out a couple of months ago, and it talks about Drake's well, which was a very significant well drilled in Titusville, Pennsylvania. And we looked at that and thought, hmm, was it the first well? I think we proved no, it was not. We did suggest, well, other areas where there might have been the first oil well. And today, thanks to the many posts that we received on LinkedIn, we're going to follow up on that. And uh, in this particular episode, we're going to try and answer uh, Yashar Kuliev's question. Well, who extracted the first oil? So here we go. First, we'll take a look at Trinidad's claim. Well, Trinidad has been famous for its surface tar pits for a long, long time, and they were crucial for ship hull repair and corking, which is basically uh, making the hulls of these wooden vessels waterproof. Now, the surface tar, well, allegedly was discovered by Sir Walter Raleigh in 1595 in Trinidad, and it was critical to the exploration of the New World. Now, this is information that came following a post from uh, Dan Morrison from Katy in Texas. Now we have mentioned uh, Trinidad and the surface tar pits in a previous video so uh, you can find that here on our channel. So we can trace the uh, history of exploration in Trinidad to places like La Brea and Arapero which uh, are in the southwest of Trinidad. It was actually in 1866 that Walter Darwin, he was an English engineer, founded the Harrier Oil Company. It drilled uh, its first successful well uh, to 160 foot depth. It drilled around uh, active oil seeps. It uh, didn't want volatile light oil because they were transporting it in wooden barrels which tended to leak and on occasion explode. That's nice. They were looking kind of for viscous, low energy, little associated gas. But some of the uh, sandstone reservoirs that they found, they just couldn't sustain the flow. It's a low energy environment. Anyway, Darwin uh, actually ended up dying at the drill site in 1868 from yellow fever and the company folded. Great story and you can follow that here on this channel and there's a link just beneath that. Now, more detail from London to La Brea, a history of the Darwin family. Pause the video and have a read of this article. So, was the first oil well in Trinidad? We don't think so. Now, bear in mind that Trove has global energy databases. We have one of the biggest databases in the world. Find out about every oil field, gas field, discovery, even some prospects and dry holes are captured within our databases from all around the world. We cover carbon capture and storage, geothermal, gas storage, liquefied natural gas, and indeed offshore wind. So get in touch. If you've got these databases, you can instantly find out reams and reams of information just about any asset in the energy sector. So was the first oil well in Romania? There was an oil well drilled to a, a depth of about 150 meters and it was in operation in 1840. It was located in Lucasesti village in Romania. And according to the Academy of World Records, the world record for the world's first commercial oil well and in the science of petroleum, uh, it records Romania as the first country in the world to officially register oil production, 275 tonnes in 1857. But it did note that there were other countries involved. And we thank uh, Valentin Ispas, who actually suggested we take a look at Romania. Was it the first oil well? Well, we don't think so. What about Azerbaijan? So, the world's first ever mechanically drilled oil well, supposedly, in 1846. And it was in the Bibi Haibat settlement, and this has been a big field for many, many decades. It's about 10 kilometers west of Baku on Azerbaijan. Now, the well produced the first gush of oil in 1847, and was only 21 meters deep at the time. So, must have been some energy in that uh, reservoir, some column, to make it flow to the surface and indeed gush out. In 1803, a Baku merchant built two oil wells into the sea. They were located a distance of some 59 and 98 
feet from the coast, so pretty close to the beach. But uh, this was again at the village of uh, Babi Habit. Now, the land has since been reclaimed and much of the former sea area are now wetlands filled with soil and part of the land today. In 2017, the state oil company of Azerbaijan Republic, Sokar, completed the reconstruction of this first well. And we thank uh, Gaith al Shaya from Saudi Arabia for pointing out the Azerbaijan claim. Now, this is a location map where you can see where the Babi Haibet field is. And you can see on the map on the right, here is the Bibi Haibet Mosque. So it's in this region, just south of the city of Baku, which is here on the Caspian Sea. We also note uh, when we're actually putting together our Trove databases that we get lots and lots of different spellings. Sometimes, as in this case, there's a Russian spelling, uh, there's a local spelling, there's an anglicized spelling, there's misspellings. What we do is we try and capture them all so that whatever the spelling, when you type it into a Trove database, you will find what you're looking for. Now here is a map and a cross-section taken from the uh, Trove database and you can see it's an anticlinal feature here with some minor faulting on it. When we look at the cross-section though we can see that this anticline has got oil actually through uh, out a considerable depth and across quite a number of intervals here. It's uh, called the uh, productive sequence and the entirety of it is pretty much oil bearing. Now these are Pliocene to quaternary sediments there are numerous faults and also a mud volcano, which you can see. So some of these faults have actually led to the oil migrating from one layer up to the next. It's still in action. We understand there's going to be two new wells drilled in 2024 on this very, very old field. The Baku area of Azerbaijan has got a long history. Pause the video if you'd like to see some of the earlier involvement in oil and gas activity in this area. So, was the first oil well in Azerbaijan? We don't think so. Was the first oil well in Myanmar? If we look at the map here, you can see here's a location of Yanangyang field in what was Burma, now known today as Myanmar. And here's a photograph taken around about 1915, we understand, and you can see all these derricks here. This was a very, very active area. So it is recorded that hand-dug wells date back 2,300 years ago. There were 520 such wells registered by the local government on the field in 1726. And indeed, Burma Oil drilled the first cable tool well in 1889, which resulted in the discovery of the Yangyang oil field. Now that's a bit confusing because... Obviously, it was active 150 years before Burma Oil drilled that particular well. So thanks to uh, Michael Earl from Papua New Guinea for sending us this suggestion to look at. Now, there's a history here, and uh, you can pause the video and read that. It goes on to uh, tell us more about the recent history. And here's our uh, trove entry. So again, all of this information at your fingertips within our Trove database so you can find out lots and lots about the geology, the history and the background to not just this field but every field. So having a look at the uh, geology we can see it's a, an uplifted faulted anticline it's pretty leaky so a lot of the oil found at the surface is seeps and much of it found in hand dug wells. Some of the wells that you'll notice go down well over 3,000 meters now, the structure, it's an elongate north-northwest-south-southeast feature, and uh, it consists of Miocene and Oligocene reservoirs. Now, this map is on the 3,900-foot uh, sand. A little bit confusing when you see that it's actually down to 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. But anyway, it's what was given its name originally, and I think people who work the field know exactly what they mean by that. Here we can see in the stratigraphy, here's the uh, the major, it's the middle Oligocene and the middle Miocene are the major reservoirs in the area, but uh, lots of seeps. At depth, well in the Padang formation, up to 33 ABR, a nice mid-range uh, oil, though recorded to have 845 parts per million sulphur. I'm not sure if that's not meant to be hydrogen sulphide, but anyway. So, until we hear otherwise... We believe this is 
the world's first commercial oil well. In summary, well, it's hardly been an extensive historic research undertaking by Eutrope, but we believe that we have found the oldest commercial oil well, and that's in Yanangyang in Myanmar. And that's because local government reports record the oil field as being active with uh, lots and lots of wells as early as 1726. Confusingly, perhaps it was rediscovered later by uh, Burma Oil, but, um, well, we believe that uh, some of the wells date back 2,300 years. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Please hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Hope to see you back on our channel before too long. Bye for now. As a little aside, we came across a uh, mention to KT. Now, uh, I always find this quite interesting. KT actually originates from the, uh, the Kansas-Texas Railroad and uh, gave its name to uh, the town there west of, uh, west of Houston and uh, various other roads and, um, and uh, highways in and, and around Texas. So taking the KT. It was located in Luca Sesti, um, oh goodness me. Now we understand, and um, it is, bleh, 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 bleh.